Hello there and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the three types of flange in SolidWorks. So let's start by creating the base flange. The thickness of one millimeter, K factor of 0 0.5. So I'm going to create the edge flange, the meter flange, and the curved flange. So let's start with the edge flange. Create your edge flange. Now, a very important thing to consider is the flange position. We have different type of flange position. We have the material outside inside but material inside means the bend and the flange will be inside the material just like this the material and the bend is inside the base flange like this and this arrow indicates it's indicated by this arrow and the second type of flange position is material outside the material outside the flange will be outside of the material as shown by this arrow but the bend will be between the material base flange and the edge flange as shown like if you can see here and the third one is the bend outside for the bend outside both the edge flange and the bend will be outside of the base flange as shown like this we have we also have bend and virtual sharp, which is the same thing as material inside. Then lastly, for flange position, we have tangent to bend. In this case, when it is when the edge of flange is angular, we use tangent to bend. So that being said, another thing we can do is for the normal edge flange we can edit it let me go to bend outside we can equally edit the edge flange to give it any shape we we'll require i'm going to edit flange profile from that you can change it you can change the position for example, give this one a length of say 20 millimeter from both ends if you wish. Now this one 45 millimeter. can even alter the shape of and even alter the shape of the flange So when you are done editing the flange, you click on finish. So this is our edge flange. Now next we we'll go to meter flange. In the meter flange, you choose your face at which you want to meter flange to start from. Not your face. Make your sketch.
15 of them at that. I need this one. 20 millimeter to fit the angle. So 135 degree. You can see the sketch. The sketch, the mid draft line will be generated in the direction perpendicular to the face you select. The face you make your sketch from. So you need to shoot meta, meta flange. So you also have options of offsetting it from the end, from the start and the end. From the start, let's give it an offset of five, five millimeter. From the end, then give it an offset of ten millimeter. If you so desire, so you can see. Be able to offset it from the end side and from the start side by five millimeter. You also have options of selecting the front position. In this case, it is presently in material inside. You can change it to material outside or bend outside. But now I choose bend outside. So you can see. That's how we edit our. That's how we edit our meter flange. We also have some option of choosing the type of relief. We can choose our relief when it is in material inside and when it is in material inside. We choose we have option of choosing a rectangular tear or a brown. Let me go for a rectangular. And relief ratio. I give it a width of five millimeter and a depth of zero point five millimeter. You will see it here. So this is this is the function of those relief. This is the relief. Now finally, we we'll go for the curved. We we'll go for the curved. Flange. This is the curved flange. One thing you have to know about the curved flange is that the plane. This is how they come up plane. Must have a common plane you know, from the same plane. If it's at another plane, curve flange will not be possible. So that's it. And edge flange. So these are the three types of flanges in. So it works. The normal edge flange, the metal flange, and the cup flange.